Hey everyone, it's Lisa Childs here from Tried, Tested, and True Instant Pot Cooking, where I share with you Instant Pot inspirations and ways to feel confident using your Instant Pot. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated list of the best Instant Pot accessories to buy and avoid. This is a lot, so let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my overarching advice regarding Instant Pot accessories because it's something I get asked about all the time. What Instant Pot accessories I don't recommend and then the ones I do recommend and they're all kind of scattered in here and so I can't wait to show you. So often people jump into Instant Pot cooking and they just want to buy all the things, all the accessories and I'm here to just caution you, when you order your Instant Pot, don't order any accessories. Trust me when I tell you, you do not need to spend money on things that you probably won't use because when you get your Instant Pot, it's enough of a learning curve as it is. You don't need to be throwing accessories in there when you don't even know if and how you're going to use them. So let me tell you what I tell every one of my friends, everyone who asks, is use your Instant Pot for at least three months. Use it, and if you use it more than once a week, You'll start learning and loving it. And once you learn how you're using your Instant Pot, what types of foods that you're making in it, then you will know what kind of accessories you need. If you're making a ton of vegetables, if, if you wanna make cheesecakes or desserts or eggs, then you'll know that you wanna buy a steamer basket or a cheesecake pan. But don't go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff at first because you probably won't use it and it's just gonna be sitting there being unused. All right, that also leads me into my next point of the things not to buy. So there are a lot of these instant pot accessory kits that I see online on Amazon. And I'm here to tell you, unless you know that you're gonna use every single item in those kits, please just steer clear of them. I have seen enough of those kits to know that they're not really high quality. They break, they fall apart, and most of the things in the kits you're not even going to use. Like a lot of them have like the little magnet things that tell you the time charts. Most of those time charts I feel are misleading or inaccurate. You'll also get things like hot pads and like little grabber things. They're not tongs, so I don't even know what you use them for, but trust me when I tell you those kits are just not worth your money. So try and find the pieces that you're actually going to use and make sure you buy quality things that won't break in your Instant Pot. I mean, it goes under a lot of pressure, so you wanna make sure you have a quality product. One of the other things I don't recommend are just those stackable inserts. Unless you absolutely know how to use them, I feel like those are a very advanced Instant Pot accessory, and so unless you know exactly how you're gonna use them and that you're gonna use them a lot, they're kind of expensive, so I would just recommend getting these six inch cake pans that are pretty much the same thing. You'll just have to stack them on a trivet and it's way cheaper. You can use them for multiple things. And those stackable things, I've just seen so many people who have spent money on them and they're like, oh yeah, I didn't even, I don't even know why I have those because I've never used them before. So that's my recommendation on those. Another Instant Pot accessory that I see that I'm not entirely sold on are those silicone trivets. I mean, unless you need an extra one, I would just use the one that came with your Instant Pot. And I saw one at the store yesterday and it was like $30 for a little silicone trivet that you put in it. It was advertised as a egg mold, an egg trivet or something, but we already have a free trivet that came with your Instant Pot. So I would not spend like $30. I would not even spend $5 on one of those trivet things unless I really needed it. So. That's just something to keep in mind. Don't go out and buy all these things that you don't need. The first Instant Pot accessory that I recommend, and it's so important and so useful that it comes with every single Instant Pot for free, so don't feel like you have to go out and buy it right away, is a trivet. So this is called a trivet. So the trivet is just this little metal wire rack thing that came with your Instant Pot. It's got handles to help you lift things in and out of your pot. And it also has these little feet on here to keep food out of the liquid. Not everything that you make is going to just be 
pressure cooking in the cooking liquid and a lot of things you'll want to keep out like vegetables, some pieces of meat, pot and pot cooking to make sure that your food doesn't get soggy or like submerged in the water. So that is what this trivet is for. It comes with your instant pot. You just place it in there like that and you can use it for, I mean, a lot of recipes. Anything that needs to stay off the bottom of the pot should go on a trivet. So like I said, every instant pot comes with a trivet and every one that I've gotten, I have like six or seven instant pots and they all come with slightly different trivets. So I think this one came with my eight quart. It's a little bit bigger. You can see like the handles are a little bit different. So you can see kind of the difference in designs are like just kind of randomly different. And then I also have received um, just from different products and accessories that came with different products. I have two of these taller trivets. So this one is like two inches, probably two or three inches high. And this one's only about an inch and a half tall, but these are actually nice if you're doing pot and pot cooking. So that means if you have something in the bottom of your pot and then you want to stick a taller rack on top and then place something on top of it so then the instant pot can cook two things at the same time. If you're going to get a taller trivet I would recommend one that's at least like this this three inch one just because then you'll have room to be able to put stuff underneath it when you're cooking things together at the same time. This one I think is advert actually I got this gifted to me in a kit like years ago and it was not great. They do sell these. They're advertised as like an egg, a boiled egg trivet, but I don't understand what the difference is between this and this that is free that came with it. This one just has little holes that look like you put eggs in it and there's really no difference. It doesn't matter if you put it on this trivet or this trivet, they're gonna come out the same. So that's why I just caution against getting those kits that advertise like you need this for eggs like you can just use this it's totally fine. All right the next accessory I'm going to talk about is this silicone egg bite mold. This one is also from the instant pot like company brand so it also came with this lid that you can put on there so like if you wanted you could make ice cubes in here you can freeze whatever like leftovers into portions and then you can just pop them out and thaw them. It, it is actually pretty useful and so I included it in our roundup today. Now if you remember from my original video on my Instant Pot accessories, I did not include this in there because I kind of have a, a caveat to this. So this is an egg bite mold. You can fill it up with eggs and make egg bites. You can make little individual sized cheesecakes or you know just like whatever you can fill them up with like oatmeal and like make little oatmeal bites and they're cute but my caveat is that if you are making any type of recipe you probably need to buy at least two or three of these because just this alone does not fit very much food and so I didn't include it in my initial video because I didn't think it was too valuable to the everyday person who's cooking for more than one person because it's kind of cumbersome to have like just one of these and you'd have to buy more than one to like make a decent quantity in your instant pot. With that being said, I have a little shameless plug for my cookbook that is coming out in July. It's Instant Pot Cooking for One, and I have 175 recipes that are single portion. They're generous servings though, they're so good, and I have a whole portion of single portion desserts. And I actually use this tool a lot for my Instant Pot Cooking for One book because this is like the perfect portion to make egg bites, I make pancake bites in here, um, I've made some desserts in here, and so this is a good tool I think, especially if you're cooking for one. My next best Instant Pot accessory I want to share with you is this silicone, what is this called? It's called a silicone pressure cooking sling. I think that's like the official name of it. It's from the OXO brand. And I really like this one because it's a flat bottom like this. And so unlike the trivet, it's totally flat and it sits in your Instant Pot just like this. It fills up pretty much the whole area of the liner so it doesn't waste any space, which is really nice. And the handles go straight up like this so it's easier when you wanna lift a lot of something out. If you can see the difference between this silicone sling and this, the free trivet that came with it, it's a lot bigger and it's a lot sturdier. These handles kind of go in like a V, like a triangle, and these ones go straight up. 
And so like if I wanted to put these egg bite molds in my Instant Pot and I put it on the trivet, I would just have like this much space to put on it. Whereas if I put it on the silicone sling, it's a lot sturdier because there's more space, the, the handles go out more, and I can just put it right in there and it's like not a problem. It's also like a lot higher up when it's in here. You can see it's like peeking out. So it's nice that I can just like go in and grab it and I'm not worried that it's gonna like fall off of the trivet because like with the trivet, it might like slide off. And so that's why I like the silicone pressure cooking sling. I use it a lot when I'm making like pot and pot stuff. It's really convenient for that. So this is the OXO pressure cooking sling. Okay, my next Instant Pot accessory that I wanted to share is this silicone net. This was actually the very first Instant Pot accessory that I purchased probably a year and a half after I own my Instant Pot. This is a lot cheaper than a um, steamer basket. It's a little bit cheaper than this product. And so that's why I bought this one. It's kind of the same concept, but you can see it's a little bit flimsier. The silicone's definitely not as thick. And so it's it kind of like lifts up like this. And I bought this because I was making a lot of things like broccoli that needed to stay out of the water, um, but the trivet just wasn't quite cutting it because things would fall in through the trivet. So this is like a little net, it's silicone, it has little holes in it, and so you can lift things in and out. But it's definitely not sturdy, it does not have a flat bottom like this one. But if you, you know, are on a budget and you don't want to purchase like a full basket or one of these things, this works for multiple uses. You can use it to lift things in and out. You can use it as a trivet. You can use it as kind of a steamer basket, just like you couldn't put too much in there, but you know how it kind of lifts up like a bowl like that. So I'm still including this because it's a kind of a budget option for some of the other tools that I have. But full disclosure, I have not used this in probably years because I have some other tools. Okay, next up is kind of a general cooking item, but it is my favorite. I've been using these Thermoworks silicone spatulas, heat proof spatulas for about two years now. I just got the large size just a couple weeks ago, but I've had these mini ones for two years and I use them every single day. I am not kidding. I actually went and bought like five more um, sets because they were on sale a couple weeks ago and they are amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna nerd out on spatulas right now for a second, but these are literally the best spatulas I've ever used. And I think rubber spatulas are the most underutilized tool in like cooking. They are awesome. I love these little spatulas. So these are from a company called Thermoworks. They produce some of the best products on earth, I swear. But I've had these for two years. I just have the mini set. So this is the spunula and the spatula, or maybe they're interchangeable, I don't know. But one of them has like a square edge and then it's a curve and then this one's like a spoon like all the way around. But I've had these for two years. I use them daily and they don't have any cuts on them. They're, they're like a single design so there's no grooves for any food to get stuck in. They're heat proof up to 600 degrees and they have a pure like super sturdy metal rod that goes from the base all the way through the spatula so there's no way this thing is gonna break. It's also not going to twist like a lot of my spatulas do. And so I've had these mini ones which are amazing for just mixing anything, making scrambled eggs. But then I just recently purchased the large versions of them and these are freaking he like heavy duty. These are super strong, like they're not going to bend. And they're, like I said on the other ones, they're a single design, so they're not ever going to like bend or break. They're not gonna get food in the grooves. These are awesome. <laughs> and they're not paying me to say this, but seriously, these are like my number one kitchen like must have. They're super cheap. The mini ones come in a set of two, so um, it comes with the spatula and the spoonula and they come like attached together. Um, and these ones you can buy separately. And they come in all sorts of different colors, but yellow is my favorite. <laughs> and I got some pink because I thought they were cute too. Check this out, okay? I have all of these different spatulas. They're all fine, but like I'd never use these anymore. I'll probably just give these to my kids. So this one, it's all cut up. <laughs> like the, oh gosh, this thing is like coming apart. The 
this part comes off and so I have to wash it separately, but even in here, like junk gets in here when I, when I wash it and in here too. And so if like my husband or like someone puts this in the dishwasher just plain without like taking it apart, tons of gunk always gets in here. And so I don't really like that. And also like while I'm mixing sometimes, like this will just like pop right off. So that's like not good. Um, this one is fine, but it's not super flexible on the top and I don't know if it's super heat proof. Plus it already has a little nick in it. And so I don't like that. It's also got like a ridge right here. So like stuff can get stuck in there. I'm like a huge germaphobe, so I don't like that. This one is cute, but this one has a whole bunch of nicks in it. And this, this is soup, like this part of it is really thick. And so I can't scoop it doesn't scoop super clean it also has a wooden handle and so like wood when it gets wet it just like kind of gets gross to me <laughs> um this one same thing this comes off so you can see like this top part has just been like I don't know there's like a bunch of junk in there probably this one also has nicks on it um I use this one occasionally like when I need to fold stuff in because it's longer I do like that but like I don't ever use that the thermoworks ones these ones they will not nick, they will not melt. I can stick it in my Instant Pot on a stove, I'm in a pot in a stove, and it will not melt. And I will cheer about these all day long because I am obsessed with them. Okay, so my next Instant Pot accessory that I recently got that I really like is actually from the same brand, it's called Thermoworks. And they sent me these silicone trivets because I wanted to find out how good they would work underneath an Instant Pot or a air fryer. So I got these silicone heat proof uh, trivets that are rated up to 600 degrees. They will not melt, they will not transfer heat. It's, they're really nice. I've actually been using them like every day, but I wanted to test these out because a lot of people are uncomfortable putting their Instant Pots on their countertops uh, because of the heat. So I have seen some people who have like cracked their countertops because of their Instant Pot. And personally, like I'm usually fine with it, but sometimes I'm like, mm, I don't know. So like, I'll just put mine on the stove, which I don't recommend beginners do because a lot of people have melted the bottom of their pots. But these have actually given me a lot of peace of mind underneath my air fryer and my Instant Pot because they are heat proof and they like catch any spills because they have this cool square grid design. But I just put them down like this. They come in like a rectangle, so I got two of them. And you can set your Instant Pot. So you can put them on one and that's the size. It does fit completely on there. Um, sometimes I'll use two just because I don't know. Uh, for my air fryer, I usually use two because it's bigger, but for the Instant Pot, you can put it on here. And this is actually just fantastic. Like I love this thing and we've actually been using it pretty much every time we cook because you're inevitably going to have like something hot that you need to set down. Our countertops are not, um, you can't like put cookie sheets straight on them. So I put cookie sheets on them. I've also put like the Instant Pot lid on there because that's really hot and I don't want it to burn anything. And I put like hot, you know, spoons, like dirty spoons on them. They're actually fantastic. And so I've also been putting these like on my kitchen, like my dining room table. If I want to just bring like a big skillet from the stove straight to the table, then I can just put it on here and I'm not worried that it's going to burn or transfer heat to my table. So these two silicone trivets are awesome. I should have probably gotten the same color, but I think I'm actually gonna get more. They come in this rectangular shape and they also come in a circular shape. So I'll link to both of those as well. But seriously, these are awesome. They will not melt. They're rated up to 600 degrees. That is like really cool. <laughs> okay, the next Instant Pot accessory is a steamer basket. I'm gonna say that if you only buy one Instant Pot accessory, that it be a steamer basket. This is very useful, it's practical, it's something that I use out of all of my Instant Pot accessories, I definitely use the steamer basket most. I use it the most because I can fit the most amount of stuff in here. So like if I'm making steamed broccoli, I just throw it in my basket. If I'm making any kind of steamed vegetable, I throw it in my basket. If I'm making corn on the cob, if I don't wanna like take them out manually one by one, I'll just stick them in the basket and so I can just take it in and out just really quick. And so that's really nice. 
if you don't have the silicone pressure cooking sling, you can also put like some things in here if they fit like a little ramekin and stick it in there for pot and pot cooking. If you don't wanna like pick up the sides of your trivet, this is a good alternative as well. And so I really like my steamer basket. It's definitely my favorite Instant Pot accessory. When you're buying a pressure cooking steamer basket, I would just recommend not to get one that has like the little silicone feet that are attached to here because those little silicone legs are sitting in your cooking liquid and they're not going like that means that like germs and bacteria are getting in there and they won't wash out as as easily. Um, I know this basket has this uh, like silicone lining on the handle, which is nice because then I only have to wait like a couple seconds before it's it's cool enough that I can lift it out after it's pressure cooking. But I don't like the ones that have the little silicone nubs on the legs just because like stuff gets in there. And like I said, I'm kind of a germaphobe. So this is the basket I have. I'll link it below, but I love my steamer basket. Okay, the next accessory is more of like a like a cooking kitchen accessory, but I wanted to share it because I really like it and I use it all the time. We make rice all the time because like we're Asian, <laughs> but this is a rice rinsing basket. So it has holes on the bottom, but they're like it doesn't drain as easily. It doesn't drain as quickly as like a colander or a strainer. And so the water kind of stays in there while you rinse your rice. It also has grooves on the outsides of the basket to kind of like agitate the rice a little bit and like have something for it to catch onto. And then, so it's draining from the bottom while you're rinsing your rice. And then also when you are trying to rinse the rice out, it has this little part right here that is that is like a strainer. So you can strain out the water without losing any of your rice. And this was only like three bucks, I think on Amazon. And I really like it. I just use it all the time because we eat a lot of rice. So this is something that if you do rinse your rice that I think you would really enjoy. The next Instant Pot accessory that I think is worth buying are extra silicone rings. So you can tell that one of these is definitely more used than the other. This one is like completely, it's not completely yellow, but I mean, it's yellow. And this one's definitely more clear. So it's newer, it's a little bit tighter. This one's a little bit more stretchy because I've had it probably four or five, probably four or five years. And so you can see that they're pretty different and they're nice because if you have one like in the dishwasher um, while it's being washed, you can just grab the other one. Also, if your ring starts to smell a little weird, like if you make like a curry or a pot roast or something that's very aromatic, then you probably don't want to use the same uh, ceiling ring when you make something like yogurt or a creme brulee or rice or anything that's sweet because those smells can easily transfer. So I like to use a clean, fresh ring whenever I'm doing anything that is like really light in flavor that might absorb those odors from the lid and from the ceiling ring. A lot of people have like a red and a blue or like a different colored ring for like sweet and savory foods, but whatever, they're all the same, just give them a sniff and you can see which one is um, better for your cooking that day. Okay, next up is this chopper. I've had a, my eye on this forever, but then my friend Amber from Amber's Kitchen just like always was posting about it this summer, so I bought one. And it is awesome. You just like put any of your vegetables, um, anything that needs to be cut in here, and then you just like slam it shut and it works. And it also comes with like a ton of different kinds of blades. So this one is like a really small dice, but there are um, blades that are like bigger. It also comes with like a mandolin. Um, it comes with like a spiralizer, a juicer, like all these different little accessories that actually are really nice to have. So I really like this and I've been using this a lot in my kitchen and I wanted to share it with you. My next must have kitchen cooking accessory is this. This is a Thermoworks Thermapen. This is the world's most accurate cooking thermometer and I'm obsessed with it. I use it literally like every single time I'm cooking anything. Baked goods, you don't need to guess if it's doughy in the middle because baked goods is between 190 and 200 degrees. You just stick this in there and you know it's done. Uh, chicken, beef, anything that cooks like on the stove, like steaks or anything in my air fryer, I always, always, always check with 
my thermometer because you don't want to guess if your food is safe to eat. You want to just know that your food is good and cooked and ready to eat. And so if you're not a very confident home cook, like you're just beginning and you just don't know, I highly recommend using a kitchen thermometer. This is going to take your cooking from novice to much more advanced because like I said, you're not guessing if something is done. You will just know. And so you might think, oh, this is an advanced tool. But in reality, I think all home cooks need to use this because it's just the best. So it always just turns on when you open up the probe like this and the display rotates in different ways. So it goes like this and like this, like it's all the same. So I have been using this a lot in everything that I cook. Like even like you have like a frozen lasagna or something and it will tell you on the back, this is done at, I don't know, like 165 degrees. So you just wanna poke this in and just make sure that it's cooked. You don't have to like stick your finger in it to see if you're gonna get burned or frozen or both at the same time. Just get a cooking thermometer. And I have purchased probably three cooking thermometers over the last 10 years and they all just gave me inconsistent results. And so that was like really stressful when you're trying to cook something and you and you have like a 10 degree variance between two thermometers. So I never have to guess, this is the most accurate one and I love it. Okay, the next Instant Pot accessory is not gonna be for everyone, but this is a cheesecake pan specifically made for Instant Pot cooking because it has this handle that you can easily lift in and out of your Instant Pot. This is a push pan. So it's got the bottom like that and then you just push from the bottom like this to get your cheesecake out. And this is definitely a really high quality product. I've had this for years and it's it hasn't warped, it hasn't rusted, it hasn't bent. And that's a big deal when it comes to push pans because I've had push pans where like this little metal bottom will warp a little bit and so it's an uneven bottom. So batter leaks out, that's no good. You're just gonna have to throw that away. So I really like this product. It's a very heavy duty. This has not bent at all and it makes a delicious cheesecake. It's also very tall and so you can make an extra large cheesecake or you can just make like a standard size cheesecake. But this is a really good cheesecake pan. The only con to this is that it's kind of expensive and there's not a whole lot of things that you can make with this if you're not making cheesecake. I mean, you can make maybe like a lasagna or some kind of a baked dish in here, but it's not going to be like something that you use all the time every single day like a steamer basket and so that's just kind of my only thing with this is that you should buy it if you want to make a cheesecake or if you want to make something that you can make in here but don't just go out and buy one of these the second you order this unless you know you're going to use it another reason why i like the push pan better than the one that has the little clamp here that it's like a little belt buckle almost that you snap together i've had pans like that and every single time that little buckle mechanism thing has broken and so for me personally i like to think that the less moving parts the better because if there are more parts like that the, the higher likelihood that it's going to break and so that's why i like this push pan it's not the cheapest one on the market but i personally think that it's like the best quality and so that is how i like to make my purchases so the next thing i'm going to share with you are these silicone muffin liners I like to recommend these as an alternative to the egg bite molds because like I said, the egg bite molds only fit so much. And in these, you can get a lot more of them. They fit about the same quantity and you can use them for more than one thing in your kitchen. So the egg bite mold is great, but you can't use it for like a ton of stuff. Whereas these, you can use these to make muffins, cupcakes. I use them in my kids' lunches to keep things separated in their like little bentos and you can use these for egg bites you can make little mini cheesecakes in them i've made mini meatloafs in them so i just like using products that you can use more than in one instance because you just get more bang for your buck so these are the silicone muffin tin liners that i recommend i got these 20 years ago at the m m store in vegas so these exact ones are not linkable but i've linked to some that are pretty much the same thing below okay the next instant pot accessory are these ceramic ramekins i 
love ramekins. They're so gorgeous. You can use them for everything just as a dish in your kitchen, but I also love them in the Instant Pot because you can cook with them. So sometimes I'll like crack an egg and like add a bunch of stuff in there. I can make like a single serving cheesecake or a single serving uh, key lime pie. Those recipes are in my book, but these just go perfectly in the Instant Pot. So I like using these ramekins to just like put in the Instant Pot to cook like a dip or a cheesecake or some eggs, some yogurt, whatever, because they're single portion, they're cute, and they work. This one I got at Target, it's like the biggest one. This is an eight ounce, but I also have these smaller ones that I can use. So you can see kind of this, the size difference. I can only fit, I think, two of these big ones in my Instant Pot, but I can fit more of these small ones. So when you're out shopping for them, just make sure that you kind of check the sizes and see like which ones will fit in your Instant Pot the best and what you want to make with them. The next accessory, so to say, that I recommend for Instant Pot lovers is to get a three quart Instant Pot or another six quart Instant Pot. Once you start cooking with your Instant Pot a lot, you understand like, oh my gosh, I need more than one of these. But this is a question that I see all the time. Why would I need more than one Instant Pot? So this is why I got a three quart as my second Instant Pot. I like to use my six quart Instant Pot to make the main course or the main dish, some, something that will like feed my family and that will fill the pot. I like using my three quart Instant Pot because while the main dish is cooking, I can make the side dishes in the three quart. It's so nice to have because I can make like rice or broccoli or vegetables, little gyozas for my kids for lunch. It's so nice and I actually use this one a lot when I'm cooking like just for myself or just like a smaller portion when I don't want to have a ton of leftovers. So while I'm cooking like a soup, if I don't want a ton, I'll just make it in this one so then I know, okay, we're gonna finish this, we're not gonna waste any food. And so I really like having the three quart. If you have a larger family that you're cooking for, then maybe just get another six quart so then you can do the same thing but in a higher quantity. It's also really nice to have the three quart and the six quart Instant Pot because Say I'm making yogurt in one or the other. Yogurt takes a whole day basically to make and so your Instant Pots are out of commission during that time. And so I like having the option of like making yogurt in my smaller one while it sits on the counter all day or my bigger one and then I have one or the other to still cook with. The next Instant Pot accessory that I recommend is another liner. This thing is so useful because if you only have one liner and it's being used, it's being cooked with, if it's in the dishwasher or you're storing like leftovers in it in the fridge, it's nice to have another liner so then you can cook with it immediately without having to, you know, find it in the dishwasher, find it in the fridge and clean it out. I really like that. Especially if you like make yogurt and you have this in your fridge, it's nice to have the option to be able to use your Instant Pot with another liner. Along with that, I really like having these silicone lids to put over, it's like a Tupperware lid basically for your Instant Pot. So it's not like going to be 100% um, seal proof. Like if you go like this, food will leak out. And so it's not totally airtight, but it's nice to be able to like store leftovers, to cover your yogurt after it's incubated and you put it in the fridge. If you're marinating meats, like when you're making my Kahlua pig recipe, I just really like it. It's convenient to just be able to slap a lid on it and store it. Another Instant Pot accessory that you can use are six inch cake pans. So I already have these for like baking cakes and I already had them in my kitchen, but you can use these for Instant Pot cooking to make like my carrot cake recipe, to do any kind of pot and pot cooking. If it fits in your pot and it's like oven and pressure proof, then it's totally fine to use in your Instant Pot. So I like these six inch ones because they fit in there if I want to make anything pot and pot. A lot of the recipes in my book that are pot and pot, the single serving recipes, use these to make you know, shrimp and grits or meatloaf and mashed potatoes. And so it's really nice to just have these little pans to make cakes in and to use in your Instant Pot. The next one is not necessarily an Instant Pot specific accessory, but it is my immersion blender. <laughs> So I bought this for myself for Christmas a couple years ago and I love, love, love it. This is like a blender stick. It's kind of a pain if you have a recipe that needs to be blended but you don't have an immersion blender and so you have to take this hot food, put it in your blender and you usually have to do it in batches so you don't like 
burn yourself and explodes everywhere. So I love my immersion blender to blend my tomato basil soup. I have a butternut squash soup, anything that needs to be blended. It's super convenient because I can just use this blend it all up together and it's amazing. I also use this to blend small amounts of mayonnaise, aioli, dressings, cause you can just put it in a cup and just blend it all together. I also use this when my frosting, like if I'm making frosting or pudding or something and it's kind of lumpy, I just use this and I blend it all together and it's totally smooth. I absolutely love it for that. I use this a lot more than I thought I would and it's just one of become like one of my favorite kitchen tools. So immersion blender. There you go. Okay, we're coming up towards the end here, but this is one of my favorite kitchen tools. It is a flat whisk. I first learned about this from the Pioneer Woman. She used it all the time on her show and she got hers at like some store close to her. But when she came out with her line at Walmart, she had a flat whisk. So I immediately bought it and this has become one of my favorite tools. I like it because when you're deglazing something off of the bottom of your Instant Pot, um, you need to deglaze otherwise it will burn. So if you have something, you know, if you seared some meat on there and it's all stuck on the bottom, you need to add some liquid and then you need to lift it up off the bottom of the pot so it doesn't burn. That stuff is called fond and it's flavor and it's so good. So you need to like mix it into your cooking liquid to get that flavor. So this is really nice because it will go on the bottom of the pot without scratching it and it will lift all that stuff off because it's flat and so it gets a greater surface area. Unlike a balloon whisk where the only really the tip grabs the bottom of the pot, this is really nice to be able to get a lot of stuff. That's my ice maker. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, this is a product that a lot of people like to use for their Instant Pots. It's called Barkeeper's Friend. It's to like clean your Instant Pot liner. It's really good for cleaning anything. It gets so much junk off of my stove top, like my really caked on cookie sheets and my pots and pans that have a lot of you know stuff on them that aren't coming off. This will take it off. And so if you're really concerned about making your Instant Pot and your Instant Pot liner super shiny, super clean, I just pick up this Barkeeper's Friend. I actually found this container at the dollar store, but they sell it pretty much anywhere in the cleaning aisle at any store. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed all of those Instant Pot accessories that I recommend and don't recommend. Tell me which ones you already have and if that was helpful for you, and we'll see you next time. See ya.